Hey guys, welcome to the 79th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the clipboard class. And in case you didn't know, the clipboard is what holds the data when you copy something. So every time you copy something, the data that you copied is stored on your clipboard. So with a clipboard class in C Sharp, we can now access all the data that you copied and we can write data to the clipboard. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, two text boxes, and two picture boxes. And when the form loads, just make sure that you have um, a picture box load up, or the picture box is image be equal to something. So I just made it be equal to um, the C sharp image, so now I'm going to debug, you should just see, yeah, the C sharp image. It's a bit stretched, but you can, you can tell what it is. So, in order to begin um, reading data from our clipboard, we're just going to go ahead and click this click me button. Now we're just going to go ahead and type out clipboard. So we're just going to use the static methods inside of it. And the first method that we're going to be looking at is the get text method. And the get text method will basically just retrieve the text on your clipboard if there is any. So as long as you previously cop the thing that you previously copied is text, then it will retrieve that text. So now we can set text box to text to whatever text is on your clipboard. So now when we debug, if we were to type something out in this text box, such as Adam, and copy it, click click me, it should um, put it right in this text box. Yep. Type something different, copy it. Yep. If we type something different and don't copy it, we should only get uh, that S, A, whatever. Yep. And we could even copy something in a different program. So if we type something out in Notepad, such as hello, we copied it, click this click me button, we should get hello. Yep, we got hello. You can also retrieve images from the clipboard. So we could do clipboard.get image, and it will retrieve an image if there is one on your clipboard. So we're just going to set um, picture box 2's image equal to the image on your clipboard. So now when we debug, we go copy an image, like this Google image right here, just click copy image, and when we click this click me button, whatever is image is on our clipboard should now be in this text box, or this picture box. Yep, the Google image, perfect. You can also get um, things off the clipboard if, you, if, you, um, if they aren't images or text or an audio stream or something like that. You can use the get data method. And inside of the get data method, you need a string format. And since I don't know any um, formats off the top of my head, and you're probably not going to want to remember them, you can use the um, data formats class. And inside of this data formats class is basically just all of the formats. So if we wanted to retrieve RTF, which is rich text format, then we could do that. If we wanted to retrieve just plain text, we could do that as well wanted to get um, a TIFF image, you could do that. I'm not going to give an example of these because they're pretty straightforward. If you wanted to retrieve HTML, you can do that as well. You can also set data to the clipboard. For example, if you wanted to do clipboard.setText, you could set Adam to the clipboard. So basically it will just copy this for us. So whenever we paste, we will get Adam. And usually there are problems with this uh, set anything methods. Probably going to get an error here. Yeah, request clipboard operation to not succeed. And I have looked all over and no one seems to know the answer to this. It does copy it, however, so if we put, just put a try and catch uh, statement around this and the catch does nothing, it will appear as though it worked, but I don't know, it's really messed up. So if we type, if we just click this click me button, we should have Adam on our clipboard. Paste. Yeah, we have Adam, but it threw an error. And there's really no way to fix that. But we can set text to it anyways. So if we wanted to set like, I don't know, Bob, we could set Bob. Click this click me button. Paste. Yeah, it's set Bob. It just sets it fine, although it throws an error. You can also set images as well. So if we wanted to do dot set image, we could just set picture box uh, one dot image, and 
Then after it's done um, throwing an error, we will set whatever it copied, which is picturebox one's image, equal to picturebox two's image. So we'll just do clipboard dot uh, get image, and we should just get um, the image from picturebox one. Yep, copied it right over there. The last method that I'm going to be showing you is the clear clipboard method, and or just clear method, and it will just clear whatever information is on your clipboard. So if we were to go right here and copy something, and then click this click me button, it should just clear it. So we can't paste anymore. It's just clear. There's nothing on our clipboard. But if we were to just regularly copy this and click paste, yeah, it pastes fine. So that's it for this tutorial on the clipboard class. So see you guys.